Well, I'm still joined by Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon and Mindy Kaling ahead of the release of their movie A Wrinkle in Time. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how things are changing and how how things are getting better slowly, slowly, baby steps. I mean, Hollywood is changing and Hollywood is like a sort of mirror to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So things can't go back to the way they were, can they? No. They can't ever. No. They can't ever do that. We've moved forward. And, uh, you know, I think uh, when we're talking about times, uh, are you talking about times up? And mm, the, mm, all oh, of that. Yeah. The whole Me Too movement. Oh, no. Once people have learned to speak up for themselves and shown the rest of the world that you can speak to, you can never go back. Mm. You can never go back. Agree? I think, yeah, consciousness has shifted and um, particularly young women are so outspoken and it's great. I have an 18 year old daughter and she's surrounded by friends and they're all very um, invested in the future. They're all activists in their own ways. They all have platforms where they speak on social media about things that matter to them and it's, it's great to see. It is really good. It's really encouraging. Yeah. And you've got a baby girl, mm -hmm. haven't you? Tiny baby girl. Yes. But obviously you want the best possible world for her. Of course you do. That's, that goes without saying. But we kind of have to make that happen. No, of course. I mean, it's why it's so inspiring what, um, what Reese is doing with Time's Up and Oprah's speech at the Golden Globes because yeah. you don't even realize it until someone gives word to it. You know, it wasn't until Oprah was, was speaking in her speech where you realize, like, wow, there is going to be the climate that my daughter is raised in is going to be so completely different than what I've become used to. Mm. You know, I'm used to complete lack of representation of people who look like me in TV and film. I'm used to not getting paid as much as men. I'm used to a crew on a movie being such a small percentage of women and even smaller percentage women of color. And that's not just in our industry. I think that's everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. So I, it's so exciting for her to think that she'll grow up with a completely that's different true. normal. And things will change. You look at Big Little Lies. I mean, that was remarkable. I don't know that that would have got made even 10 years ago. You know, it's, it's... Yeah, the thing that was so remarkable is Nicole and I kept turning to each other and Laura Dern and Shailene and Zoe and... All these amazing, strong women. They're amazing, but we yeah. would just be like, we never... I never got to be in a movie with another woman or a television show or have substantive um, storylines with multiple mm. different <laughs> women and yeah. it's it's funny that well I mean it's not funny but it's like women have to create that because um, you know it, it's a natural thing for us to sort of cultivate those stories tell those stories but until you change the storytellers you can't change the stories so it was important that you know I started producing my own movies because that's the way ahead isn't it that's the yeah, way things have changed but i mean look these two women have been doing Absolutely. that and creating their own work and their own mm. um, destiny for a long time and, and i just started 7 years ago you I'm, know that I'm everybody very... is asking you about politics and about how w whether or not you would stand there was this massive huge sort of like surge of people saying please please or perhaps you made that amazing speech uh, the incredible speech yeah. is that now no do you think you that can do is more a definite outside? no yeah. you know because as 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 i we, we we talk about this film and how all the misses are trying to get meg uh, the main character to understand how to listen to the voice inside herself and I believe everybody has that. Yeah. And you know, regardless if there are a thousand people telling you to do something, you know for yourself yeah. what feels like the right thing to do. So I recognize that I have a voice in the world and I feel very honored and I feel um, that people trust me with some level of moral authority. That feels very like I've been on the right track. Sure. But it does not feel like politics is the way I want to exercise that voice. Mm. No, that makes perfect sense. I can completely understand that. It's just a shame. Yeah. Mm. Well, <laughs> I kind of like my life. I know, I know. I, I, yes. like my, I have a very nice life. I don't want to ruin it. I've got to ask you, Mindy, <laughs> Swansea Football Club. Is it true that you've got shares in Swansea Football Club? It's this true. This is the most random, I know. extraordinary thing. We, we just, just learned. Learned. I know. I know. Yes, well, it doesn't come up organically in conversation, but no, when I was really. here, I was hoping to go to to Wales and see, yeah. I know, it sounds like to an see indie, your team. to see my I mean, team. Obviously you know that they drew with Huddersfield at the weekend and you know that they're playing Spurs obviously. in the FA Club obviously. next week, so yeah. you, you could go see them. Obviously. How the earth did that come about? It's just, I mean, football is such an amazing sport. It's so incredible, incredibly popular I'm worldwide. With you. I'm a huge fan, yeah, yeah. And I just like to, I mean, honestly, inspired by Oprah, she invests in things she believes in. I believe in this team. And I think it's, it's a smart choice. I don't think it's going anywhere. 
Good um, I could have picked something a little bit closer to my home. <laughs> yeah, granted, could. You but could. I think it's an adventure. I think it's absolutely brilliant. No, we just found this out yesterday, but I do believe in that too. I do believe in making investments in what you believe. Right. So that your energy goes into the same thing that your money is going into, and that just gives it more power. So I, I now believe in the team. I ought to invest in it too. Yeah, really. I have all this gear. I'm ready to go. So, so we're all Swansea Football Club supporters here, mm -hmm. including <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. That is, there you, you heard it here first. It's just absolutely remarkable. Thank you so, so much for Thank coming in and talking to us. It's been absolutely and amazing. And especially for taking girls. We all yeah, want you to I take know. girls, boys, or bring your own child at heart when you go to the movie. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Thanks amazing. for the opportunity, Lauren.